Hi lovelies. I can't talk too long because there's snow outside so I really need to um, get outside and do some painting uh, but I just I had promised to quickly show you these winter landscapes that I've been doing um, just around my local um, my immediate vicinity really just around my house um, and it's been it's been amazing actually because we've had some amazing weather we've had snow we've had frost we've had loads of fog um we've had some really nice sunsets and just the colors have been to really totally gorgeous um and i've really enjoyed just doing these little plein air um pieces and i'm really pleased with how they've turned out and thank you so much to everybody who's expressed an interest in owning one of these um the frames are arriving today which is exciting and these are all going to be on my website at six o'clock that's uk time that's friday the 15th of january uh, all you need to do if you'd like to have one is go to the menu click on available paintings and then when you scroll the first thing you'll see is this winter series and <laughs> it's quite straightforward to purchase one um, using credit or debit card or PayPal account. So they are, I've kept the price really reasonable, um, as reasonable as I can really. So they're £595 including the frames, um, which I think makes um, them something really lovely to take home. Anyway, I'll just um, faff about, turn the camera around and I'll just give you a quick um, run through of, of all 10 of them that are going to be on my website later today and my website is in my bio it's heidijo.com quite straightforward thanks ever so much bye okay so here we go let's have a quick look at each one of them um excuse the glare on on these this is uh, just just down my lane and this is one of my favorites I shouldn't have favorites really but um, it was a frosty morning very 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 cold the the light was just incredible coming through that gap in the in the wall there through the gate and that is quite a magical scene I, I think um, then this one this one was painted in my garden again sorry about the glare this was a very foggy day, looking through my vegetable patch towards the fields beyond and then there's some, oh, it's very messy my vegetable patch, there's some um, uh, tin can lids hanging up there and uh, some ruby chard growing at the bottom which gives it a nice additional pop of colour down there. Um, this is the one, this is just, just behind my studio, looking across the golf course actually which is closed at the moment because of the lockdown um, but yeah the colours in the sky were exceptional and it was just a complete race to get them down very exciting and um, this one the sun setting behind trees this uh, I was actually sitting in my car just in the in the next village um, I drove up here because it's a bit of a hill and there's a little bit more of a view I wanted to see the sun setting it was quite cloudy but I had a view of it and it seemed to be sort of eating into that tree. So um, yes, I worked inside the car for that one. I considered standing outside the car, but um, it was just like so much mud. I, I, I hopped out, I had a look and I thought, I can't see any more here than I can see sitting in comfort in my driver's seat. So hopped back in. Um, on this one, this was really, really fun. Again, just in my lane. Some people down the road have some willow trees and the light on the willow trees was just sublime on this morning. The sky was clear, so we have still snow, um, which was melting because it was warming up so quickly. Um, but gosh, yeah, that colour combination of the lilac -y spits of snow that are left um, in the shade and that really vivid warmth on the trees over there that was just super exciting 
Uh, funnily enough, I was standing in the shade when I was painting that, but I don't. I didn't feel the cold at all because when I'm really um, in the zone, I just don't notice. I mean, I wrap up really, really warm anyway, but I just, I just don't feel the cold when I'm painting. It's only afterwards that you realise you've got a bit chilly. Um, this one, really pleased again with this one. Um, it's a very difficult time of day to paint, obviously, because you're losing so much light and you. Can barely see your board in the end um but it, it was dark when i walked back again in my village and just was just i'm really just i was just chuffed with the colors of this um and the way it came together yeah. and then this one another one from from just uh, next to my studio another sunset and it was just beautifully soft i mean this was kind of Uh, 3.30 in the afternoon, that kind of time, the sun was going down and it was just a beautiful effect. Um, then this one was a really foggy morning, uh, just outside the front of my house. Um, yeah, it was just a great challenge um, to paint the fog. So yeah, these are all trees in the background, but I could see very little of them which was exciting and then there's really hard frost um, still on the grass so that was really interesting trying to get that colour of the grass on the frost and I had to be really quick again with this one because the the mist was was lifting and I could see more and more into the distance so I had to wrap it up really quickly but I, I, I'm, I'm really pleased with the softness and the kind of purple and green colour palette of this one and then this one well this was an amazing effect so this was the same morning actually and I was coming back into the house gonna have a nice warm cup of coffee but then I saw this incredible site um, just next to my studio this fields these fields are just beside my studio and the sun was it was really crazy but the fog was lifting and the sun was kind of burning through. I don't know if you see that the sun. And I don't think I've ever actually painted the sun before, apart from a couple of sunsets. So I was looking towards the sun cautiously. Um, it was still uh, uh, still enough sort of mist covering it that I could look towards it. And yeah, and then there's just, just this band of light at the bottom. Um, in the distant landscape there which was really intriguing i had to give it a go quite exciting and then last one this is one of the more recent ones and i know i shouldn't have favorites but another <laughs> favorite little favorite um you can't i'm sorry about the glare on parts of this but the this yeah the snow and the the colors in that sky the color on the snow let me see if i can get it better can you see that? Yeah. Again, this is the fields that are next to my studio, which I must say I've never appreciated until now. I really have got a lot to see in my in my local area. So thanks for looking.